I did. I was your man. Hey, hey, hey. I did say I was your man. Hey, what? I'm gonna be a bitch if you wanna play like that. Now, come on. I'm your man. <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'm playing. Same nigga man, crying bro. when I'm outside. Man, Same nigga crying when I'm outside. Uh, I think you be letting too many rap niggas be in your face. Who that picture? <laughs> On my Twitter. In your face. It was a little baby, but it wasn't like. Huh? You are like on God. It wasn't even like that. Oh, baby. We was talking about yeah. you. Work. <laughs> so, saying about me? I was just saying, how oh, you just like. <laughs> I just like, what? You my manager. <laughs> oh, now your manager. I don't know. What? What you want me to what, say? What, what he said? What he said? What he said? <laughs> well, I got potential. Potential to what? Buckle? No, nah, I'm a goat for real. Why are you saying it like that? See, this one I don't get Blueface. He be talking all this mess about how he don't want her for real. He tried to pay for her to leave him. This and that. But as soon as it looked like she's interested in somebody else, he started crying, being out in his feelings. People like this is so lame. Especially like when the dudes be all like, man, I don't care about her. I don't need you, man. Leave, leave. But as soon as you see her in a picture with another dude, now you want to get all emotional, defensive and say, why you doing this is over. Just like Super Bowl. When she was in the picture with Rick Ross, he started getting in his feelings, calling her a hoe and stuff. Now he all in his feelings because her and little baby had a conversation and he said that she got potential. That nigga said, potential for what? The F you? <laughs> nigga all in his feelings, but I knew he was just faking it. Like when he was like, oh, I don't want her for real. You could leave. I know he was just saying that because she's the only woman that I see him with consistently, right? I know it was videos of him and his baby mama together, but I guess they broke up because Krishan is the only one that would deal with him, like deal with everything that come with him. It's like he got her mind control. Like whatever he say goes and she's down for the ride. She'll fight, she'll beat up whoever, she'll get drunk with him, high with him. And that's what he want. He's her enabler. Like he will enable her to destruct herself, whether she's pregnant. I have no idea if she's really pregnant or whatever, but. He would enable her to destroy herself. And she's down for the ride. But as soon as he get with a girl that's actually like, no, I'm not doing it. Or you need to fix this. You need to fix that. He would leave her. He'd be like, nope, I don't want her. I want the girl that's going to put up with my shit. And I can enable her to self-destruct. I can't see her with nobody else. And I can't see him with nobody else. Like, they both made for each other. They both going to put up with each other's BS. And neither one of them is trying to help each other do better because they getting money. When you get paid to do dumb shit, why would you act any other way? And that's the crazy part, man. What y'all think about this is what it be? Oops.